I find it interesting how enthralled people get with celebrities, especially when it comes to their real life drama. Now, I know that the Depp Heard trial has been over for a while, but someone brought it up the other day and it got me thinking about what lessons we could actually learn from that trial. And above anything, you know, this one thing stood out to me, and it's a problem that's plagued most celebrities since the beginning of time. It doesn't matter if they're actors, rockers, influencers, politicians, or preachers. If this one flaw isn't dealt with, eventually they will fall. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Pastor Burt, and this is my jam. You know, talent and charisma have helped many people achieve the pinnacle of success. But just as many have plummeted off of that precipice because of a lack of principled character. Now, I didn't watch the trial, but I did see some clips taken from it. And at least to me, the destructive behaviors that were being admitted to stemmed from a lack of discipline and principles. It amazes me that people who can be so disciplined in their craft can be so undisciplined in life. These are not ignorant people. They know the dangers of addiction and excess, yet they allow these things to destroy their relationships, their careers, and their lives. And so many of them, at the end, confessed that it wasn't worth it. Israel's King Solomon is actually one of these. In his book of Ecclesiastes, he wrote, When I surveyed all that my hands had done and what I had toiled to achieve, everything was meaningless. A chasing after the wind. Nothing was gained. It's said that Solomon, of Solomon that he was actually the wealthiest person who ever lived. Conservative estimates put Solomon's annual income somewhere between one to two billion dollars at today's values. Yet, with all of his wise leadership, his unprincipled excesses brought his downfall. So you might be thinking, <laughs> it's better to not aspire towards achieving anything great in life because that's where the problem lies. But you'd be wrong. I've met many people with what you might consider normal jobs and families, falling and failing for the very same reason, a lack of good principles. A lack of principles will trump position, power, and prosperity every time. So what's the solution? Well, it actually comes from Solomon's dad, David, the famous shepherd king of Israel. And although David made some serious mistakes in his life, he endeavored in his heart to follow the advice that he had written in the book of Psalms. He said, to obey the Lord is the fundamental principle for wise living. All who carry out his precepts acquire good moral insight. So David says that by following God and the instructions he's given us in the Bible, we can live principled lives and experience the blessings of right living that he actually mentions in Psalm 92 when he said, people who live right will flourish like palm trees and grow tall as the cedars of Lebanon, for they are transplanted into the Lord's own garden and are under his personal care. Even when they're old, they still bear fruit. They are always healthy and fresh. Wow, fruitful healthy, and fresh in my old age? Where do I sign up? <laughs> David said that all it takes is to give God your life and live according to his principles as revealed in the Bible. So whether you ever become rich and famous or are content to work hard and raise a family, I encourage you to prioritize living for God and according to his principles and not only will you never have to regret your life, you will experience a full and blessed life that will last forever. I want to close with the song, May the Word of, Words of My Mouth, by uh, Tim Hughes. Today. Get this out. 
May the words, words, sorry, I'll start that again. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart bless your name, bless your name, Jesus. And the deeds of the day and the truth in my way speak of you, speak of you. Jesus, for this is what I'm glad to do. It's time to live a life of love that pleases you, and I will give all to you. Surrender everything I have. Father, thank you so much, God, that you ha ha have shown us what is right, the right way to live, the best way to live. And that's by following you, Lord, by living according to your heart, your principles for, for right living and, and to give you our lives. And so, Lord, I pray for those that are watching today, Lord, that, that they would do that. God, that they would look at where they're at in life and think, you know, that's something I, I really haven't done is give myself to God and just let him lead me. So Lord, I, I pray, God, that you would touch their hearts and that you would show them your love for them and that you have a good and perfect plan for their lives, that they could live a full and blessed life if they would just follow you. So I pray this for them and I pray your blessing upon them in it. And I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for watching again, folks. And I hope you'll join me again next week. Bye for now.